Do you speak English? Hello. Samantha, good morning. Hey Jenny. I'm good. How was your holiday? It was a wonderful trip. I had spent quality time with my family. Those are the moments I just want to freeze time so I can really soak them in. Then, how are things going? Not very well. I live in a share house with an elder woman. You know what? She moved in three months back. We have been casual since day one but never became close friends. We're supposed to share the groceries but she doesn't contribute anything. Always seem to run out of things. She cooks food and leaves dirty dishes on the stove and on the sink. And there's an open bag of trash just sitting on the patio attracting tons of flies. That's not fair. It can be awkward to start a conversation with your roommate about cleaning. I know we are all busy, but we clean dishes the same day we use them. I have talked but nothing changes. I feel frustrated when I come home. When laundry is left on the couch. I like to relax and watch TV after a long day. I hate to nag my roommate to clean too much. I know how you feel. You know, she never makes the bed. Another thing is that since she moved in, she only cleaned the room once. I once came home, dog shit scattered throughout the apartment. Foul smelling garbage still not taken outside. It's completely unacceptable. And she likes to walk around the house while brushing her hair. Which sometimes includes the living room and kitchen. And it seems like I'm finding her hair everywhere. She also uses her filthy outdoor footwear inside the home. That's a huge crime. Have you discussed this with her? I would like to, but I don't know how to tell her that. She doesn't do anything around the house and leaves everything up to me. I have to spend tremendous energy cleaning up after her. And she is not making meal at home every day. Now I'm feeding her. I'm fed up with her. After deliberating whether or not I should once again clean this mess myself. I finally realized that clear and open communication was my only recourse here. In my opinion, you should have a friendly chat with her. If she still refuses to mend her ways, then ask her to move out. That's what I would do if I were in your place. Thanks for the suggestion. Let me open up tomorrow.
Excuse me, I'm Eliza. Glad to meet you. I'm Samantha. You called up about the room for rent, right? Are you still interested? Yes, I am. I love to stay in this place. Less crime and neighborhood reviews are excellent. Is Crossroad Landlord friendly? Yes, but he's living in California. I'm your flatmate. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. I just want to be sure that we get along. Are you a party animal? Oh, no. I'm a very calm person. Great. Are you a neat or slob? I'm a pretty neat and organized person. Are you a night owl or a day person? I'm early to bed, early to rise. Finally, do you drink? Yes, social drinker. I really liked your answers. Do you have any questions for me? I would like to know the reason why the previous roommate moved out. Her name is Jane. She's working as a project lead in a company. We had a big argument and she has decided to move out. What did you argue about? I like everything to be clean and well arranged. I told her that she needs to help clean up around the apartment. Another thing I find it difficult to cut down on monthly bills is electricity usage. I'm frugal, but my roommate isn't. I'm tired of cleaning her mess. She never helps around house. Yeah, that could be a problem. I totally understand. I bought some air freshener and disinfectant spray for the room. She argued that the scent was too strong and it caused headache to her. Kitchen is piled with everything. The living room is a junkyard. The house is a huge mess. But the bigger problem is that she never pays her rent on time. She is late every month. Living with a messy roommate can be quite frustrating. What do you like to do in your leisure time? I love reading comic books and listening to pop music. I feel bored with reading books, but I like more active hobbies. I love to go noodling, gliding, scuba diving, and DIY. Do you practice yoga? I'm not crazy about asanas, but I do like to do stretching sometimes. Great. What genre of movies do you like? I enjoy actions, romances, and thrilling. I like actions too. Are they your favorite? I love to watch romance mixed with disaster like Titanic. That movie is amazing. I love watching it. Even though they are not real people but feel so realistic. The flooding and sinking scenes were excellent. That movie song stuck in my head after watching it so many times. I was blown away. 
It's so good having a roommate like you with positive vibes. Same here, when you'll move in. Hopefully this week. Catch you soon. Hello. We're glad to welcome our new roommate to the house. Thank you for the surprise gift. Let me help you. That box is pretty heavy. Glad to welcome our new roommate to the house. Welcome, Samantha. We're excited to have a new addition. So, where are you from? I just moved from Canada to Seattle for my job relocation. I am passionate about my work. Because I love what I do, that drives me to do my best. I work as a UX designer in a reputed company. I'm looking for a furnished space because I'm relocated here and don't want to move all my stuff. I like to cook. I'm a big foodie. I have a dog named Bebo. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to get to work by 8 a.m. each day. I usually don't get home from work until 6 p.m. I like to go out on the weekend and have a good time. You're very open-minded. Do you like Seattle? Yeah, Evergreen State and the weather is neither very hot nor very cold. I love it. What do all of you do? Well, I'm Tony and done my graduation in marketing. I born and raised in India. I have the opportunity to relocate to Seattle. I work hard to drive profit and promote services through coordinated marketing campaigns. Also, I do international marketing like export, foreign direct investment. Also, I enjoy cooking. Usually I'll make a big dinner for everyone. Wow. That's interesting career. Social media is the biggest part of internet marketing, which is part of digital marketing. I'm Jack, medical practitioner. It's my last year of medical college. Then become a general practitioner. Hygiene is important because it contributes to a healthy workforce. I like cleaning so much is because I am organized. I love nature. I used to mow the lawn and water the plants. Great to hear. I'm glad that we've you here. Is general practitioner same as medical? General practitioners treat minor illnesses, while medical doctors tend to be more specialized. Hi. I'm John and I'm also a student. And doing my third year of journalist. I usually help Tony while cooking. Me Sara, I'm a cosmetology. Actually, I run a cosmetology clinic. Usually I do a new hairdo, color update manicure, pedicure, and more. People enjoy getting pampered. Being a cosmetologist opens the door to many careers choices. 
Exactly. I can work in many different industries such as film, makeup artist, freelance, hair removal, TV and more. It's a cool choice. Are you from Canada? No, I was born and raised in London. Last time I went for vacation. I love architect and historic places in UK. The weather is amazing. I love traditional recipe pie and mash with parsley liquor in UK. What more could a girl want? I'm Eliza, social media influencer. I'm expertise on a specific topic, bridge between brands and consumers. I usually connect with my followers. I provide information about new products, new developments, and even breaking the news. Unlike ads we design to inform, the information that comes from individual influencers is organic and trusted. Social media influencer marketing is fast evolving. Also, I'll be sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping frequently. We take turns tidying up the living room, dusting, vacuuming, and take out the trash. I've often lived with messy roommates, so this will be a great change. I think that I'll fit in well with you all.